Now, let's classify the different types of soil. Basically, as far as the uh, uh, Indian subcontinent is concerned, there are four types of soil, namely alluvial soil, black soil, red soil, and laterite soil. In the order of importance, it's the alluvial soil which is very, very, very important and that covers most parts of the land area in India. As you know that India is an agricultural country. Agriculture has become the main human occupation. Alluvial soil has contributed to the growth of agriculture in India. Firstly, let's take up alluvial soil. Alluvial soil is an example of transported soil. Why? Because alluvial soil is formed as a result of deposition basically made by running water. In India, alluvial soil is found along the foothills of Himalayas and all along the coastal strips of peninsular India. So, hence, alluvial soil is known as the transported soil. It is also called as the ravine soil. Why? Because it is formed as a result of the activity of river. So hence it is called as the riverine soil. There are different types of alluvial soil. Basically, Khadar and Bangar. As you all know that the river is responsible for the formation of alluvial soil. And once when the river carries load from a region of higher level to the lower level, the river has to encounter different topography. So hence, when the river carries load and when it encounters obstacles, the load is dumped then and there. All the heavier load which is left behind are heavier soil. The load which is carried forward are the finer soil. So the heavier load which is left behind is Bangar soil and the finer load which is carried forward is known as the Khadar soil. So Khadar soil is always deposited in the lower beds of the river valley but whereas Bangar soil is formed on the upper terrace or the upper beds of the river valley which is comparatively less fertile and less suitable for the agriculture. Why? Because Bangar has lime nodules, it is porous and it is not capable of retaining moisture and hence it cannot support agriculture but whereas Khadar soil on the other hand is uh, is very very suitable for agriculture why because it is known as the new soil it is known as the new soil and found at the lower beds of the river and uh, it is highly fertile hence good for agriculture so these characteristics have to be definitely kept in mind board examination point of view they can ask you what is the difference between Khadar and Bangar soil and they can also ask you why is Khadar soil better than Bangar soil. So in such case definitely you need to keep in mind that Khadar soil is new soil and it is found on the lower beds of the river valley and it is renewed year after year hence it is very very fertile and can retain moisture and suitable for agriculture. Bangar soil is known as the old alluvial soil found at the higher beds of the river valley comprises of lime nodules and clay it's porous not as fine as khadar soil hence less suitable for agriculture so these are the important characteristics of bangar soil please bear in mind why because there can be a two marks question in board examination either asking you to differentiate between khadar and bangar soil or they can ask you a question uh, you know a reasoning based question uh, just asking you why is Khadar more suitable uh, soil than Bangar or why is Bangar not suitable for agriculture uh, uh, comparing to uh, the Khadar soil. So uh, these are the points that you can bear in mind. Now again based on where the soils are formed there are again two types of alluvial soil. One is the inland alluvial soil and the other one is the coastal alluvial soil. See inland alluvial soil is the one which is formed away from the coast, inland, landlocked. 
Northern plains are an excellent example of inland alluvial soil. Right from Punjab to Assam, there is a long stretch of northern plains almost measuring around uh, 2400 kilometers long which is formed by the depositions made by river Indus and Ganga are the example of inland alluvial soil uh, extensively fertile and uh, agriculture has become a very very prominent human occupation and uh, you can uh, see that Uttar Pradesh is the state with high population this is just because of the fertile soil and uh, the prominent human occupation of the people being agriculture secondly the coastal alluvial soil is found along the coastal strips of peninsular India known as the western coast and the eastern coast see western coast known as Malabar, Konkan and Kandra coast whereas the eastern coast known as Coromandel coast and then northern Sarkar you know that the western coastal plains are not that suitable for agriculture and the soil is brackish brackish means saline why because the sea water makes it influence on the soil so hence it becomes less suitable for growing crops but 